Next up is iPad. Yes. <laughs> iPad. iPad is the clearest expression of our vision of the future of personal computing. A simple, multi-touch piece of glass that instantly transforms into virtually anything that you want it to be. In just five years, iPad has transformed the way we create, the way we learn, and the way we work. We're partnering with the world's leading enterprise companies, IBM and Cisco, to redefine and transform the way people work in the enterprise. As we brought more and more capability and more and more power to the iPad, we've been amazed at the new and unexpected things that our customers have done with the iPad. So we asked ourselves, how could we take iPad even further? Today, we have the biggest news in iPad since the iPad. And I am thrilled to show it to you. This, this is the iPad Pro. It's the most capable and powerful iPad we've ever created. It is chalked full of amazing advanced technologies and innovation. To tell you all about it, I'd like to invite Phil Schiller up. Phil? Thank you, Tim. Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. I am so excited to tell you about this incredible new iPad Pro. It has a huge screen, the biggest we've ever built in an iOS device. It has new, more power and performance than any iOS device we've ever made either. But let's start with that display. Why make an iPad with a bigger display? With a larger display, well, think about the iPad from the very beginning. It's a magical piece of glass you hold in your hands, and you can touch the software. You can touch the web pages we surf. We can touch the books we read. We can touch the documents we create. And it can do things that a smartphone can't do because it doesn't have to fit in your pocket. And it's thin and light enough to hold all day long so that it can do things that a notebook can't do. So with a bigger screen iPad, your TV shows and movies are more cinematic. The games we play are more immersive and powerful. And an iPad is always a multi-touch device. So now with a bigger iPad Pro, you can have a full-size software keyboard so you can type in your documents with this great big keyboard. And keyboards can do many things, like be an amazing musical instrument. Yeah, somebody likes music. We can do something on an iPad that you can't do on a notebook. And the new multitasking features in iOS 9, slide over, split view, picture in picture, were designed with this iPad Pro in mind. They make it so much more productive and capable. So how big is the screen on the iPad Pro? It's 12.9 inches on that diagonal. Why 12.9 inches? Well, here, let me tell you a little secret about its size. Let's put next to it our previous largest iPad. That's iPad Air 2. If you look at the width of the iPad Pro, it is the same as the height of the iPad Air. And then we take that height, and we make a 4 by 3 ratio. And now you have an iPad big enough to run your full iPad Air apps with more room side by side. It is an incredible display. It is 2732 by 2048 pixels. Do the math, it's 5.6 million pixels. Far more than on any iOS device before. In fact, that's even more pixels than a 15 inch MacBook Pro with Retina display. It is a beautiful display. Your photos will look amazing on it. Huge, incredibly detailed. 
rich colors. Your documents will be full size with laser sharp text. And I'll say it again, watching movies on it is incredible. It's an amazing experience. This is the most advanced display we have ever built. It took some incredible innovation in technology. For example, we used the technology that we created in the iMac with Retina 5K display and its timing controller to drive all those pixels quickly. We made it look beautiful with our photo alignment technique, which means it has great on-access contrast ratio. It's made of the best oxide TFT material, which means we can light up the pixels quickly and have uniform color and brightness. And for the first time in an Apple display, it has a variable refresh rate. That means that if things aren't moving quickly on the display, we can slow it down and save energy. This is an amazing display. And inside it, something even more amazing, the chip that powers it. This is the new A9X chip. It's our third generation 64-bit chip. We've doubled bandwidth to memory. We've doubled the read and write performance to flash storage. It is so fast. How fast is it? The new A9X is 1.8 times faster than the A8X it replaces. This is desktop class performance. <laughs> to compare what our team has done, our chip team is just on fire. Over the last five years, they've grown performance in the iPad 22-fold for CPU tasks. And graphics tasks are even faster. We've doubled the performance of graphics over the A8X. And over the last five years, this is unbelievable. Graphics performance has gone up 360 times. The biggest jump in this year alone. You combine that fast hardware with great software, like in iOS 9, our metal libraries for writing games and applications directly to that graphics chips, and you get incredible performance. But here's another way to think about how fast iPad Pro is. It is faster than 80% of the portable PCs that shipped in the last 12 months. Yes. That's at CPU tasks. At graphics tasks, it's faster than 90% of them. So when you run tasks and applications that we all love to use, they get incredibly fast. For example, iMovie. Running iMovie on an iPad Pro delivers desktop class performance. With iMovie, you can now edit three streams of 4K video simultaneous. That's incredible performance. And it's going to enable new classes of applications for iPad. For example, check this out. This is AutoCAD 360 from Autodesk. It's an incredibly powerful application. This image has 320,000 objects in its wireframe mesh. And you can zoom in and pan around it with buttery 60 frame per second smoothness, something you can't do on a PC. And all that power comes with all day battery life, 10 hours of battery life. So we've got an amazing display, incredible performance, great battery life. So we thought this display deserves a great sound system. And so for the first time ever, an Apple product, we now have a four-speaker audio system. And it automatically balances the left and the right, depending on how you're holding the iPad. And it balances the frequencies between the top and the bottom dynamically to create a beautiful stereo sound stage. And it puts out three times the audio volume of an iPad Air 2. You really have to listen to it. It's amazing. And that's packed into a device that's incredibly thin and light. Here's the iPad Pro. Let's bring in the iPad Air underneath it. And you can see they're both amazingly thin. The iPad Pro is just 6.9 millimeters thin. The iPad Air, 6.1. Very, very close. What about the weight of it? Well, here, let's bring in the original first iPad. It's kind of fun. They're both just around a one and a half pounds, which is unbelievable because the iPad Pro has a 78% larger screen area. It has 360 times more graphics power. It is thin and light enough to hold all day and powerful enough to take everywhere. Whether you want to watch movies in the park or edit a film on location. This is an amazing iPad. But the story doesn't stop there. Let's go back to that software keyboard. 
It's a great keyboard. It dynamically changes as we use different applications. And it's how most of us will type on our iPad Pro. But because we're enabling applications not possible before in an iPad, sometimes you like the convenience of a physical keyboard. So we're very excited to tell you about a brand new accessory just for iPad Pro, and it's called the Smart Keyboard. This is unlike any keyboard you've ever used before. It's covered in an Apple woven fabric. That fabric creates the cover, but also forms the structure and the feel of those keys. And they feel really great to type on. Inside is a new Apple dome switch that we pioneered with the MacBook. And it works beautifully in this great new smart keyboard. So how do you attach or connect this smart keyboard to your iPad Pro? But if you look closely, there are three new circles along the side of the iPad Pro. This is a brand new connector technology. We call it the Smart Connector. It carries power and data and connects magnetically to the Smart Keyboard. So when you want to attach your iPad to the keyboard, you just slide it on it. And the software in iOS 9 automatically adapts and changes because it knows you want to use the physical keyboard versus the soft keyboard. So that's the new smart keyboard designed specifically for the iPad Pro. So that's typing. Let's talk about drawing and illustration. Customers have created amazing works of art, drawing on their iPads with their fingers. iPads are all about multi-touch, and we will continue to use our hands to interact in amazing ways on iPad. But iPad Pro is going to enable new classes of applications that require even greater precision ever possible before. A new level of precision and accuracy that requires some amazing innovation. So we're so happy to introduce to you another brand new accessory specifically for iPad Pro. It looks like this. It's called Apple Pencil. <laughs> this Apple Pencil is absolutely amazing. And to get that level of low latency so it feels like you're drawing directly on the display took an incredible effort of collaboration between our hardware, software, and design teams. And, and they've done a remarkable job. And customers are going to feel it every time they use it. They can use it within built-in apps in iOS, like our new Notes app, where you can draw and diagram directly with Apple Pencil. Or in Mail, where now with our new markup feature, when someone sends you an attachment, you can draw and mark up right on that attachment and send it on to them. You're going to see new applications from developers that have created features that take full advantage of this huge iPad Pro display, all its power, and most of all, Apple Pencil, like Procreate, an incredible foreign art illustration and drawing application that just comes alive on iPad Pro. And applications we've not seen before, like this, it's called UMake, designed specifically for iPad and takes full advantage of that display and that incredible Apple Pencil. Well, Apple Pencil is one of the most advanced technologies we've ever created in a simple, beautiful form. And we've been lucky enough to have a few developers come in and take a look at the new iPad Pro and Apple Pencil and see what's possible with this incredible new technology. So we'd like to do a few demos. And to begin with, it would be great to have a developer come and show us what's possible with professional productivity. And who to know better about productivity than Microsoft? Yeah, these guys know productivity. So I am extremely pleased to introduce Corporate Vice President from Microsoft Office, Kurt Konigsbauer. Kurt? Thank you. It's a, it's a thrill to be here today. At Microsoft, we're focused on reinventing productivity to help people do their best work anywhere they're working. And today, more than ever, we are supporting Microsoft Office on Apple platforms. Now, I'd like to introduce uh, Hanyi, who's going to walk us through some cool demos. 
Up on the screen, you'll see a beautiful Microsoft Word document on the gorgeous new iPad Pro. Now, with the Office iPad, we want to make it easy for anyone to create rich content and documents using touch. And so watch a quick example here. We can just, with a few quick taps, take this table, add styles, and turn it into a really, really great document. Now, we want to extend this richness with a new iPad Pro with ink. So we can allow anyone to mark up and annotate their documents and collaborate with others. And so if you look underneath the ribbon, you'll see we have a variety of new pen tools. There's uh, different pens and pencils. One's a highlighter. You see this fabulous new color wheel, so you can pick just the color that you want. And a new thickness control, so you can get the point that you need. Now watch as we can use the Apple Pencil and circle items in our document. We can strike through, we can add suggestions, and we can write in the margins. And you'll see it's also great for multilingual usage too. Now, because Office is built for teamwork, all of these changes are stored in the document itself and can be viewed on any Microsoft Office application on any device. Now, the next thing we want to do is add a chart to our document. And so we've started the chart in Excel. So we'll take advantage of iOS 9's multitasking capabilities. With a quick swipe, we can have both Word and Excel on the screen at the same time. Now, for Office, the document is king. So having these two applications side by side is a huge productivity boost and allows us to do things like copy and paste this chart that you see and put it into Microsoft Word. Now, well, let's finish up our PowerPoint presentation that goes along with this document that we're working on. And once again, we'll use iOS 9's multitasking capabilities, have both apps up on the screen at the same time, and we can copy this chart also into our PowerPoint presentation to finish it up. Now, just like Word, just like Excel, PowerPoint has great support for the Apple Pencil and for Ink. And so watch as we can go ahead and draw some shapes here on our, uh, on our slide. And they're converted automatically to graphic objects. Thank you. For the last demo, we wanted to show you something that really requires the incredible performance of graphics for the iPad Pro and an application that's pretty amazing. It's an application that helps to visualize human anatomy and assist doctors, patients, and students in medical school. And to show you this incredible new application, how it runs on iPad Pro, I'm very excited to show, bring up the head of design at 3D for Medical, Irene Walsh. Irene? Thank you. In the average medical consultation, the patient is with the doctor for just seven minutes, and they only recall 14% of the information they receive. At 3D for Medical, we believe that clear understanding between doctors and patients leads to better health care, and ultimately to better patient outcomes. I'm excited to show you how with the new iPad Pro, our complete anatomy series has bridged that communication gap. So let's imagine I'm a doctor. I'm speaking with my patient about their injured knee. I can zoom right into the knee area to show them more about the bones that work here. The incredible CPU and increased memory of the new iPad Pro mean that I'm now seeing these textures at double the resolution of previous versions. And with the poly count of our mesh also doubled, I'm experiencing new levels of medical accuracy. Now let's turn on some muscles and we can see how they interact with the skeleton to create movement. The quadriceps you see here are being animated in real time at 60 frames per second. Just imagine how groundbreaking this will be for physical therapy patients in understanding and visualizing their treatments. This motion is fully controlled by me and it's seamlessly rendered by the new iPad Pro. To get a little context, I can turn on the skin there to help orientate. We've taken full advantage of the Apple Pencil by introducing unique cutting and drawing tools to our app. As a medical student, for the first time, I'll be able to edit the model rapidly and with pinpoint precision. I can cut through the layers of anatomy to reveal the relationships between structures and even simulate surgical procedures. As a trained physician, I'll use complete anatomy to educate my patient on their condition. So let's say my patient presents with a torn meniscus. I can bring up a preset view of the knee area to highlight the relevant structures. Then to make the injury more specific to my patient, I can take the Apple Pencil and make a precise tear on the meniscus directly on the model. I can then show my patient their particular injury in 3D. 
Using the pressure sensitive technology, I can model the effects of arthritis, varying the size and the frequency of bone spurs according to the force that I apply. I can even annotate while still in this 3D environment using our pen tool to draw directly on the model or using our automatic labeling function. What's really great about this is that I can, I can actually share this exact 3D model with my patient and record a consultation for them to refer to in complete anatomy on their own iPad. We believe that the new iPad Pro and our Complete Anatomy series will transform the way doctors and patients communicate, increasing medical understanding and improving patient care from remote villages to the top hospitals and universities in the world. Thank you. So now you've seen the kind of applications that can run on iPad Pro. They are truly transformative. This is the most advanced iPad we've made by a long shot. It's a 12.9 inch retina display. It's our A9X, third generation 64-bit chip. It has, for the first time, a four speaker audio system. Full all day, 10 hour battery life. It has an eight megapixel iSight camera. It has a FaceTime HD camera. It has Wi-Fi and LTE networking. Of course, our great Touch ID built in. And it's all made in the most environmentally friendly manner possible. A mercury-free LED backlit display, arsenic-free display glass, BFR-free, beryllium-free, PVC-free, and of course, that aluminum glass is highly recyclable. The new iPad Pro comes in three finishes, silver, gold, and space gray. So I know right now you're just thinking, how much does it cost? Because I want one. Well, the new iPad Pro starts at just $799. That's with 32 gigs of memory. For 128 gigs, it's 150 more. And there's a configuration with 128 gigs in LTE networking. New iPad Pencil. <laughs> the new Apple Pencil, $99. And the Smart Keyboard, $169. And they'll all be available starting in November. Well, that is the new iPad Pro, and we could not be more excited about it. It's the flagship in our iPad line. And starting today, this is what the iPad line looks like. We've now moved iPad Mini 2 down to become our entry-level iPad at a new lower price, just $269. Above it is the brand new iPad Mini 4 that we're also launching today. So what's the iPad Mini 4? Well, simply, we've taken the power and performance of iPad Air 2 and built it into an even smaller mini enclosure. It's just 0.65 pounds. Incredibly powerful and yet small and light. iPad Air starts at $399 and the iPad Pro at $799. And so that's our news about iPad. Thank you very much.